What's up guys? It's your Motivational Gamer here and in this series we put each unit on the map. We cover each individual monster, its abilities, and its purpose in combat to help you guys make the most educated decision possible as to whether to improve, include, or remove this current monster from your box. So today we're talking about the Dark War Bear, Gorgo. And Gorgo is the man. So he's an HP type monster and uh, like the other mo uh, the other bear man, he has Thrash, which thrashes the enemy, inflicting damage proportionate to your max HP. The attack has a 50% chance to reduce the enemy's attack gauge by 25%. Uh, second skill is Roar. He, he inflicts damage proportional to uh, your max HP to all enemies and decreases their attack power for two turns. Uh, skills reusable in five turns, so not too bad, uh, considering it's an AoE. It probably goes down to four turns. Hopefully. Um, and his third skill, when he awakens and he becomes Gorgo, he gets a skill called Charge. Now, this skill just recently got an up update or upgrade, excuse me, by Kong. And it deals damage now according to his max HP. Before it didn't, but now it does. This attack receives a 70% critical rate bonus and stuns the enemy for one turn when this attack lands as a critical hit. So, let's talk about Gorgo. So, Gorgo is the only monster in the game right now the only one that has three skills three that all scale with HP meaning that he is probably the only HP type unit that is a full-on damage build Gorgo's purpose is to a bring the pain and control the enemy okay bring the pain more so I would say uh, mainly because of this I say control the enemy because he reduces the enemy's attack gauge right um, you know, he decreases attack power, so he's definitely helpful in, in any kind of team comp that, you know, you're worried about getting hit hard, right? So, like, if you paired him with Shannon, you got glancing hit, attack power, power reduction. Um, if you want to build him to spare, it could be useful for TOA purposes for reducing the attack power and stunning the enemy. Third skill charge, he also has a stun if he lands a critical hit. So that lets me know that... Uh, Gorgo's primary purpose, guys, you're still, like all the other war bears, you're going to build them with a shit ton of HP, no matter what. However, two primary stats you're going to focus on on this unit, crit damage, crit rate, okay? This unit has potential to hit very hard, all the way across the board. So if you're looking for a relatively easy unit to build, um, that's very relatively easy to get, he's only a two-star. Um, so you can grab him, stick him with a ton of HP, um, play with him, can be good in arena, can be good in dungeons if you want to use him in there. Um, very versatile um, this unit can be, but mostly his primary purpose is to bring the pain. And once you guys see his crit rate up 100%, crit damage as high as you can, you're going to see some amazing things with this guy. As long as, of course, you get his HP up. Early builds include energy, like you can do a double energy blade, you can do a full blade set with HP percent all the way around, or like HP percent crit damage in slot 4, HP percent. Uh, you can build them with Violent Blade, you can build them with Vampire, Nemesis. I mean, you can kind of almost build this guy with anything that you would like to build him with to fit your personal needs, you know. Um, as long as three requirements are met. Energy, or excuse me, HP as high as possible, crit rate as high as possible, crit damage as high as possible. And it's not a slow unit either. So if you can manage to get a speed substat in there, even better, you know. Um, so that's going to be the big thing with Gorgo. Units that he pairs well with, of course, is any any monsters that either a increases attack or defense or his HP um, or they give him more opportunities to do the thing that he does best which is deal damage so that's where he's gonna come into play now in terms of if you run into this guy in the arena and you're not prepared I'm sorry cuz <laughs> um, I know he's a very overlooked unit right now because nobody really pays attention to the skill updates unless it pertains to their particular monster but don't be surprised if you see this unit coming up in the arena. Um, he is going to be a very, very hard-hitting unit, um, especially since all the skills scale with HP that makes him very, very formidable, especially when you're talking when you get him to 35k HP+. plus. He's going to be a very, very hard unit to kill, and if you let him stay alive, he will eat you, okay? He will fucking eat you, especially if uh, he's paired with somebody who does defense break. Uh, so... Uh, keep that in mind as you look into this unit. If you guys decide to build this unit uh, and you see him, you know, around, he's awesome. Awesome unit, especially now since he got the update. And um, if you see this guy in the arena, make sure you take care of him. He's a priority target. Defense break him. Get him the fuck out of there. Because if you leave this unit in there, just think of him as 
Think of him as a high HP Hellhound, <laughs> if you want to use a reference. Yes, he has low base, base attack, but he does damage off of his HP, so I'm telling you, a well ruined Gorgo is going to be a problem for you. He's like a Ramagos, but with consistent damage, okay? Um, so, watch out for this guy. Get rid of him first, and you guys will be fine. Again, crowd control, stun, sleep, freeze, all of that good stuff will be helpful for this particular unit. So, with that being said, guys, Thank you guys for tuning in. That covered all I wanted to cover for for, for Gorgo. And uh, we will see you guys next video. So thank you guys for so much again. Uh, every single one of you. I love every single one of you guys. Thank you for your support and uh, you know your interaction in the community. And we will see you guys next video.